Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. We are at my demonstration blog, Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. I'm using Thesis Theme version 1.8 and WordPress version 3.1, which just came out yesterday, February 22nd, 2011. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the site background and the page background. It's actually quite simple. Uh, so let's get started. Before we do, I just want to give you a quick overview of what my demonstration blog looks like. As you can see, mostly a white background. So I'm going to click in this tab, which brings me to the dashboard of Jim's Max GXL marketing team, where I have already logged in. I'm going to scroll down till we get to the thesis tab. And second tab under that is design, or second link is design option. So I'm going to click there. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that the HTML framework is on page framework, which it is. Okay, I'm going to click this minus to close that. We're going to click on the plus to expand right next to outer page padding. We can leave it at zero for now. You can bring it all the way up to four. Um, anywhere from zero to one seems to be good. We'll start with zero for now. I'm going to click the big ass save button just to save our work there in case you had changed anything it's a good habit okay now under body and content area let me click here scroll down just a little bit you've got the site background color that's what goes out on the outer edge so you can just click in here and pick a color if you like okay I happen to know which color I want the hex code or the hexadecimal code it is seven C 57 9 C if you type in lowercase letters as soon as you deselect it automatically goes to uppercase letters so just watch this so once you pick a color or type in a color you want just click to the left to deselect that area okay and then when you want to choose your page background color just click in here and once again you can click around or if you already know as in my case the hex code or the hexadecimal code to represent a certain color just type it in which for me is F E F F D Niner and then click just to the left to deselect and that is chosen now since we're already down here in the thesis design options I'm gonna scroll down and just go to the nav menu and we're not going to change all the background colors and font colors in the menu but I am going to just start up here with the link background color so it will fit in a little better with the page background of the site background that we just changed and I'm doing this to let you know how easy it is so that's a D six B a F two click to the left to deselect I'm going to scroll up click the big ass save button it's been saved. Okay, I'm going to right click here. If you're on a Mac, just press the control key before you click, and that'll give you this drop down menu. Left click there, open link, a new tab. Okay, and you can see that our blog has just been updated. We got kind of the yellow for the page color, we've got the purple for the site color, we've got the purple for this drop down menu. Let's just go in back into the dashboard for a second the admin panel I'm gonna click over here outer page padding let's just go up to one just so you can see how changing the outer page padding can change things a little here so let me click back in here I'm going to click uh, refresh so look at the outer edge and see how that changes and you can see it gets smaller and that's pretty much all that happens I'm going to click on here. This is the new um, menu bar at the top I'm gonna, that comes with WordPress 3.1. I'm going to click on Log Out, and I'm going to then click right here. Are you lost? Let's just get back. And this, I'm showing you this because this is what visitors will see. They're not going to see that little login at the top. Okay, and that's all there is. If you like this video, please click the like button if there is one below this video. Otherwise, please leave your positive comments and questions below this video because that's what helps keep me motivated to keep cranking these videos tutorials out for you. Hope you have a great day and uh, thanks for watching.